hi everyone in this video we are going to see what is the process between your submission and the acceptance that is once you submit your article what is happening in between so imagine that you are the um, scholar who has written the paper and you have submitted okay so this is the scholar yes So you are the scholar, you have submitted the paper. Fine. So what will happen now is what once you have submitted, you may submit using anything like an online. <clears throat> it might be an online portal. Okay. It might be an online that you have uh, you are trying to submit it. Okay. Or else you can send it through a mail. Whatever it may be, you are submitting through a cloud. Okay. Once you have submitted once you have submitted this will be sent to the editor okay that is chief executive editor or the editor who is in charge of that so he is a chief executive editor that is cee -E, or an editor so what editor will do editor will determine whether the paper is relevant to the journal needs that is what we usually talk about the scope of the journal okay in terms of novelty novelty in the sense whether your research is really giving some impact to the whether your journal your research is giving some impact to the public okay and whether your journal is really a new one because it should not contain any plagiarism whether it the design is good whether the procedure is good whether the language is suitable for that particular journal as well as everything which have to be sent before the reviewer okay so if any one of this so whatever we have discussed is what we have discussed about the novelty right novelty of the journal and impact of the journal design procedure whether it is suitability okay everything he will be checking for everything in that particular paper that is the whatever the paper which we have submitted if it really suits then what that editor will do that editor will send this particular our particular journal <clears throat> the editor will send our particular journal to two or three reviewers okay it might be two or three reviewers so there will be a reviewer so before sending he will ensure that the uh, information about the scholar that is the person who submitted the paper is not available he may be using any unique id for the paper okay but the information should not be revealed to the reviewer so then uh, what happens is the reviewer will be it will be sent to the reviewer so these are all the reviewers fine so what happens the reviewer will take at least as it uh, info told before like the reviewer they will take at least one uh, one week to 10 days of time to send it back okay this is called a blind review process so uh, these reviewers uh, will be the subject matter expert for example if you are submitting a computer science related um, article then your paper should be sent to the computer science expert even there comes a specialization if you are sending an article related to machine learning then at least that uh, two of the reviewers should be a machine learning expert they should know machine learning okay so once the comments to the authors are about the appropriateness and adequacy of the theoretical and conceptual work so what happened uh, th this reviewers will send the will send the comment okay will send the comments based on uh, uh, that is what is the what is the um, uh, that is what is the paper is all about how the paper is what is their their comments on it okay that is suggesting the strengthness of the manuscript okay they'll be sending you the comment they'll be sending back the comments to the editor okay so what the thing the reviewer will see you have to consider all these things okay appropriateness
okay next one is what the literature review whether you have done a proper literature review about that they'll be seeing the method uh, they'll be uh, they'll be uh, considering the results and discussion conclusions so i have a, a set of reviewers um reviewers comments and i i have the format of reviewer if you want you can let me know i will also explain what is the expectation of the re reviewer and how you can make your paper 100% acceptable that we will deal in a different uh, 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 video so now, now let us uh, i'll proceed so he'll be sending the ce back the comment so the comment what the ce will see is what whether we, they can accept it or not so the editor he will review the report and decides whether to accept or reject the manuscript okay if there is any revision if there is any revision what he will do is he will uh, advise the author to revise and resubmit the manuscript or in seek any additional review reports okay and uh, once the review once the scholar revised it and submitted it back okay so until then he will be waiting so author the author decides whether and how to address the reviewer so now in this case author the scholar we have to decide how to address the reviewer comment and uh, how to um, how to overcome the uh, editor's concern okay the, so the uh, uh, author's written a revised version of the paper to the chief of the editor okay so again he has to send a revised paper to the editor by mentioning something like i have changed all these things everything okay so the author can also submit uh, that is any special <coughs> disagreements if he have for example <coughs> you know better about your paper and your research and if something which cannot be done in that paper which is suggested by the reviewer okay which is not possible then you can again tell that this is not possible because of these reasons okay so the chief executive editor send the revised manuscript again what he will do he will send the revised manuscript to review the paper again okay he will be sending a revised manuscript okay he will be sending the revised manuscript to the reviewer at least one original reviewer have to see this he will not send it again to uh, th uh, three or four reviewers okay he will be sending to only one reviewer when the reviewer completed uh, the reviewing the paper and he accepts okay he decides the manuscript to be accepted then he will send the acceptance back to the review uh, editor okay whereas the editor will editor has the complete ownership and rights to whether accept or reject the paper okay once he accept it he will send the uh, comments back to the scholar that your paper has been accepted or rejected okay so <clears throat> other than this before before publishing your paper the editor has to uh, look for the citation the reference list whether everything is under the uh, journals uh, journals guidelines okay like um, clarity grammar plagiarism what is the plagiarism percentage everything okay the some few questions he may ask for example copyrights he may ask for the copyrights okay so that they have to give he may ask for something else like uh, uh, data the data should be publicly available like that so these things will happen okay and finally once it is completely acceptable then he can if it is a paid journal he can ask he can pay the price and uh, um, uh, send the approval or else that is send the acceptance that is the scholar can pay and send the acceptance or else he can simply ask them for uh, ask them to publish the paper so this is how this will work okay this complete process which happens between the submission and the acceptance so uh, a scholar while writing he has to think about all these things okay like uh, uh, that is what are the thing that is the journal scope novelty impact design procedure and if you want to know more about how the reviewer will look into your paper then 
you can leave the um, comment i will definitely help you out thank you take care bye bye